JB Mathers joined now by Colt Matthews, local Humble County product out of Eureka. Uh, Colt Matthews of the HSU men's basketball team. First off, Colt, growing up in Eureka, obviously you knew about Humboldt State the entire time. What's it like being a lumberjack? Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I, I went to lumberjack basketball camp when I was 12 years old and just moved up the ranks around here. So it's, it's now is that a goal when you're you're you know you're playing youth basketball, then you're playing for Dwayne Peterson, Peter Rue down there in uh, Eureka, and then uh, is that the goal you're thinking about? Man, Tom Wood and those guys. You look up to those guys as a kid, and that's where I want to be one day. Yeah, it was always a goal of mine to play college basketball and just to get it done around here is, is special. All right, so when you're 12 years old, you're up in the East Gym, you're in the West Gym, you're at basketball camp with hundreds of other campers. You've probably got number 300 on your back or whatever. Tom Wood, Coach Kinder, uh, did you ever think to yourself, these guys are going to be my actual coaches one day? Uh, well, I had big dreams. I was going to UCLA. I thought I was going to Duke, but um, it was always a nice little backup plan, you know, to come to HSU. Well, I'm glad you had that in your backup minds. Now, what are the... I imagine at the camp, it's it's ice cream and they're nice to you. Oh, Colt, work on this. I imagine you're actually playing for them. It's a little different. Uh, what's that experience been like from what you perceived it to be like playing for Coach Wood and Coach Kinder to the actual playing for Coach Wood and Coach Kinder? Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of hard work playing playing for the boss up here, uh, but it's it's fun at the same time. What are you got any good Woody stories for us uh, that you can share with us? Not, not really. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not, not a good story. No. <laughs> All right, Colt, let's talk about the, the transition. You actually, you said the big school. You went to Arizona yeah. right out of high school. Now, did you want to play basketball because you were local HDNL star? Uh, did you want to play at Arizona? I was kind of out of it for that year. Okay, so then you come back to CR. What's it like playing for Skip Gleason, who's now the assistant on the women's team? It was just good to get back in the game. You know, it was a lot of fun playing over there, good experience. So you did. You start at CR, and then you come up the road. Did you present this to Coach Wood and Coach Kinder? Did they contact you? How did you guys, you know, find that meeting of, you know what, we need the local guy to come play for the Jacks? Well, coming back from Arizona, I kind of wanted to come up here and play, and it was their idea to kind of have me go to CR and develop over there, and it kind of it worked out for the best. So Definitely worked out for the best. And then you were actually with the team last year. A lot of people may not know, but uh, the nasty knee injury, that set you back a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, the dreaded ACL, you know. Uh, Year of hard work, but I'm back on the court. So. Now, how tough is that? You go to CR, you star there, you're ready, and you, emotionally you're all set to get ready and go in there and battle on this uh, very experienced Humboldt State team, and then boom, one day the knee's not there anymore. How tough is that emotionally? Well, I, I, I always wanted to play with Cy and Peel and Grayson and all those guys. They were all great players. And just kind of missing out on that was big. But um, the hardest part is probably just getting that confidence back, confidence in the knee and confidence in the game. And we saw that for people who remember a while back. Chuck Webster, I remember him. He was a classic example, big, strong, physical guy. But the confidence of the knee. Brittany just talked about confidence, whether it's your knee or your game. Uh, we see your game, and it's, it's tremendous as I watch your post moves now. How long did it take you to get confidence in that knee, or is it completely back yet? Uh, it's, it's, I'm still getting it all in there, so it's just a kind of day-by-day -day thing. What's the toughest part about the knee? Just always thinking about it. It's always in the back of your head. You got that big brace on. And... Now, when you injured it, was it you were you going up for a rebound or you doing something physical? We talked to Efren Del Rio a couple weeks ago, and he said the worst part was he hurt his knee doing nothing really. He well, was just in the gym, and it wasn't like you know he twisted it or he fell on somebody. It just happened. Yeah, I was I was going up for a shot, and I definitely knew something was wrong when I came down on it. So it was. Quite a recovery it's, it's time. Bad. You get the operation, you're back. All right, now talk about last year you wanted to play with Devin and sign those guys, but that team was established. Those guys had been there for years. Minutes probably would have been hard to come by. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, you hurt the knee, but you look forward to this year. Here's a team where you've got one returner in Ernie Spada, and he's going to be a sophomore. Yeah. So things are wide open. So that, there's a you know little silver lining there in the knee injury, wouldn't you say? Yeah, everything's, everything's up for grabs. You know, everybody earns their minutes. And it's really competitive at practice. What's it been like in the locker room, being around a team last year, seniors, a lot of leadership, very established to a team where, uh, you know, from a fan's perspective, we don't know really anybody on the team. We know you because you're from CR and Eureka. We know Ernie from last year, and outside of that, it's, it's a bunch of new faces. Yeah, uh, everybody's kind of coming together in the locker room. You know, it's um, just kind of a big family in there. Is it totally different than last year's locker room? Yeah. Yeah. Just. Who, now, who's stepping up as the leaders on this team this year? 
Tiedemann's kind of a quiet guy, but he's a, he's a, he leads by example. Um, Jameson, you got to look at just the way he plays as a, as a good example on the court. Yeah, the couple of the, the, the post guys there. Now, what do you think about Coach Wood? How do you guys like the line changes when it's just mass substitutions? Uh, you know, instead of, you know, five guys, and then I'll bring a six or a seven deep. It's, I mean, really every guy on the team is in the mix. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, we're, and we're 12 strong, so it gives everybody a chance to get in there and play. And, uh, you know, you just go in there for three, four hard minutes, and then you're getting your rest when you come out. Now, Colt is uh, going above and beyond. Most student athletes, as uh, it is finals week, they're worried about finals and class and, you know, uh, what they're serving in the, the J tonight, stuff like that. But, but Colt, you're really uh, bringing maturity to the program. Uh, not only are you, you know, one of the older guys in a transfer, you've been to college, but uh, you've got a, a child who's about to turn one. Yeah. Uh, you're going to school. You're working. That's a full plate. What's that like for you? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work, but it's it's all worth it, so. Well, what's it like when you come back to the locker room and you hear guys complaining about something that happened in the dorms, and you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, <laughs> I was wiping a diaper at this time last night. It, yeah, it's, it, that explains itself right there. <laughs> How has fatherhood changed you? Uh, it's just made me think about much more than myself, so it's made me a better person, I think. All right, and also you're working over at uh, Big Louie's, making yeah. some pizzas, some pies. Yeah. I mean, where do you find time to play basketball between the kid, you know, school, basketball, slanging pizzas? Where does the time come from? I have a lot of support around here, and just kind of everybody's been willing to work with me, and uh, I have to thank everybody that's been helpful to me. So, just Now, you talk about basketball. It's competitive on the court. Are you guys competitive? Who's the best uh, pizza maker or pizza to uh, uh, tosser? Well, right I, I'd have to give that to myself, of course. But. <laughs> All right, now, what, what pizza should we order when we go down there? The Cole Matthews special. Wild West. Wild West with pineapple. There it is. All right, there you go. Hey, NFL <laughs> playoffs are coming. Maybe stop by, get a bite to eat. Colt won't be working this weekend, of course, at least Friday, Saturday, because, well, he's got basketball games to play. Colt, thank you so much for stopping by. Local star Colt Matthews joining us on the show. We're going to be back next with more. It is Humboldt State tonight with me, J.B. Mathers.